Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have had a couple of requests to do another everyday makeup thing. Not much has changed. I guess I wear a little bit less makeup than I used to when I first started doing my videos. But yeah, people have just been asking me to do an everyday makeup thing again. Um, I'm gonna keep it real with you. My skin isn't the best at the minute, which was kind of annoying. I've been like holding off, trying to wait for my skin to get a little bit better so I could look somewhat not like a demon when I film this video, but my skin just isn't having it. I also use the Etude House brow tint gel mm. <laughs> last night and it made my eyebrows go a weird orange color don't recommend this product i don't know why i did that um i've used it before and it hasn't done it but for some reason when i did it this time it went a weird orange color so that's not cool <laughs> i've already washed my face with the simple moisturizing facial wash i moisturized it with the l'oreal paris hydrogenous aloe water gel moisturizer thing <laughs> if i keep looking here it's because i have a mirror that has like a ring light on it it's basically like a cheap hack to a ring light if you're a youtuber and you're also a girl and you do makeup and you can't afford an actual ring light just get one of these because you can just just whack up the the brightness so if i keep looking here that's what i'm looking at to do my makeup because otherwise i can't see what i'm doing <laughs> that's why i'm just going to be using the kat von d lock it foundation in light 48 neutral i wear um fake tan i actually wear like moisturizer fake tan so i match it to my neck because my face is paler than my neck so i try and match my foundation to my neck otherwise it, my face is like really white compared to my neck this is like super like f like full full coverage so you really do not need a lot of this um i actually bought this because i have incredibly oily skin like i feel like no matter what wow this is a look i always feel like no matter how much of a expensive foundation i buy my skin just is always oily and i don't know how to get rid of it so i bought this this was like 30 pounds after shipping and everything this is the most i've ever spent on a foundation before and it don't work <laughs> it's a very good foundation but it does not get rid of any of my oiliness like after an hour of wearing makeup i'm still a greasy mess so this didn't really help at i just put myself in the eye so it didn't really help at all to do with like stopping me from being really oily but having oily skin is probably one of the most annoying things ever i'm gonna be real um some people like the way oily skin looks um i personally don't i think it makes me look like a mess um but i can't i can't help it like sometimes i'll be out i'll literally only be out for like 30 minutes and i'll come back home and my face will be so oily and it's incredibly annoying i've tried literally every single soap out there every single foundation every single concealer every single anything to just stop it and it never seems to help so that's great after that i'm just going to take the collection lasting perfection concealer in the shade fair i think this is the lightest one they do i'm like massively running out of this so i have to like scrape around it um because it's just like gone christmas obviously i did get money for christmas but i need to stop buying makeup because it's becoming a kind of obsession i'm just going to take the same puff and blend it out <laughs> I feel like you know how people have glow ups like i feel like i have glow downs like i feel like i've the older i've got the worse i've looked i don't know if it's because my skin's getting worse or anything but it just i don't know i feel like i've had a glow down is that a thing i don't know but i feel like i've had it i used to bake my face but i switched i used to use the air spun powder thing and then i bought this other powder which i don't know the name of because i put it in the air spun thing it makes my face look really cakey so i don't bake underneath my eyes anymore i kind of just set it so i just set it normally next is eyebrows now recently i've come to the conclusion that i hate my eyebrows i feel like anything that I do to them, oh my god I forgot to use primer. <laughs> so typically before I did foundation I would use this primer. I feel like whenever I film my makeup I always miss out steps like or if I forget to do something I would typically use this first Some for some reason I just forgot to use it. For eyebrows, I think I used this in my last makeup video I used, I did. Um, this is just the Anastas Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. I sometimes, because I've dyed my hair black now, I sometimes go over it with a black eyeshadow, just really lightly to make my eyebrows slightly darker. But if I put like enough of this on, I feel like it's good enough. Also, I've had this for two years and it doesn't even look like I've made a dent in it. Like this stuff is, it is pricey, but 
it literally lasts forever. So for my eyebrows, I always feel this one in first because this is my better eyebrow. It has a better shape and I feel like all my makeup on this side of my face goes on a lot smoother, but the makeup on this side of my face goes on a lot rougher. I don't know why. So again, I don't really know what I'm doing when I do my eyebrows. I kind of just wing the entirety of my makeup. Like, I honestly didn't even really know you could fill in your eyebrows till I was in like year nine or ten which is when you're like 15 uh 14 15. I really feel like filling in your eyebrows changes your entire face like i do have a fair amount of eyebrow without makeup on but my eyebrows are fairly light compared to my black hair so i it looks like i don't have a lot of eyebrow especially on camera and i take the little puff thing and i pat it on the beginning part of my eyebrow to make it look less harsh because I feel like when obviously it's a personal preference but I don't want my front of my eyebrow to be like super dark compared to the end of my eyebrow I like it to be that Instagram gradient <laughs> okay I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera because this is my tricky eyebrow that never wants to co cooperate and it literally takes like seven times longer to do this eyebrow so I'm gonna go do this one off camera then I'm gonna just use the pro conceal concealer in I think this is the lightest color they do it doesn't have a color on it because I think I took the color off but I'm pretty sure it's the lightest one like porcelain or something like that so just clean under my eyebrows because again I hate filling in my eyebrows nor can I do it very well so cleaning underneath your eyebrow really helps <laughs> Okay, so now you look insane. I feel like most people would take like a nice little brush and like blend it out nicely. I literally just use my finger because why else would I spend money on a brush when I don't need to because I'm cheap. This is honestly like the most unprofessional makeup video you'll probably ever come across in your entire life. Like I feel like that's why in my other one I didn't really talk over what I was doing and it was because I don't really honestly know how I do my makeup. I kind of just wing it <laughs> and hope it looks good. And then again, like I feel like this is boring because I've like not really changed much that I do. I take the same old crusty clear mascara, which I have no idea what brand it is. I got it as a Christmas present in like a set of um, like makeup. Uh, it wasn't like branded or anything. It was pretty cheap. Um, but you know, it just keeps your eyebrows in place, stops them from sticking up, flying around everywhere, flying off your face. Because if you're anything like me, you need your eyebrows. <laughs> okay, and I feel like this stage, my face looks so harsh because I have no eye makeup on. And I feel like I look super young without makeup. And it's because I wear pretty heavy eyeliner, I guess. Um, so kind of putting eyeshadow and everything on makes me look a lot older. If you have oily skin, this will be the best eye primer you will ever come across. Like, I've used so many different eye primers. Um, literally... <laughs> countless i've used expensive ones i've used cheap ones i've used like 40 pound ones and this is the only one i've ever come across that stops my eyeshadow from creasing because i love wearing eyeshadow i don't wear it on a daily basis this is the only thing that if i wake up on like a school day or i have to wake up early for something i won't put eyeshadow on typically i will just do eyeliner mascara and maybe eyelashes if i can be bothered i'm gonna be taking this really dirty palette um it's called nudes oh there goes the sheet i believe this is from primark because again like i said i ain't no fancy i don't buy no fancy makeup the only makeup that i will buy that is expensive is skin makeup because i feel like when you're doing makeup skin makeup is the most important and that is the only thing that i will spend a lot of money on i will not buy expensive eyeshadows and stuff because i just don't feel like it's necessary <laughs> it's called the nudes i like i said i think it's from primark i'm not 100 percent sure because i got this as a christmas present but it looks like something that primark would like stock and i'm going to be using the colors i've only used this like once and i honestly can't remember what eyeshadows i used i think i'm going to do a mixture of this one called brown bear and cafe cream creme i don't know so basically these two i'm going to mix these two and do it in the crease and i don't know we're just gonna see what happens like i said this is kind of like it's half of my everyday makeup half of get ready with me because my eyeshadow changes a lot and i feel like i can't really say what my everyday eyeshadow is because it does change so often okay so after i've done that it kind of it's like a pink peachy colour mixing the, those two and I think I might all well, the other colours are quite dark so I think I might go into my other palette which I have honestly if you are starting out with makeup or you just want eyeshadows that have a lot of different colours in them I recommend this, it has nail polish it has stuff stuck to it because I've literally had this for two years and 
um, it kind of looks really like busted and gross but it's really good as you can see I have I broke the lid off of it it's mainly like this section that I use the most um, I use the black when I sometimes put my eyebrows in um, I don't really use that many of these or any of these like if these colors have been used it's for if I'm just like messing around with makeup at like 1am in the morning and I don't want to sleep I think I'm gonna take this one which is a pink that I use all the time on my eyes and put it on my like actual eyelid so this is where we get a little bit of ratchet but just bear with me and listen to my reasoning <laughs> so i always use the collection bar stroke eyeliner in like extreme black or just black black one um i always 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 use this but i don't really like the applicator that it comes with when you put your eyeliner on because it's very thick and I don't know what I'm trying to do that because it's not an autofocus camera but it's very thick and I don't like the way it goes on because I like my eyeliner to be fairly thin-ish. Then I take the, this is an Avon True Colour eyeliner again in black which I've used all of it but it has like a such finer tip on it. I basically use the product from this and I just use the brush from this because I feel like I get such a better eyeliner when I do it this way I do not like the applicator on this but this is the best eyeliner I've ever used like I said I have oily skin and this stuff does like not go anywhere I should also mention that when I don't wear fake eyelashes which is pretty much my everyday I don't really wear fake eyelashes too much when I go out normally but I don't find them hard to put on or anything it's just I feel like it's not necessary I mean sometimes I will if I feel like it anytime I where fake eyelashes is in videos because my camera isn't that good i literally just use my phone to film my videos including this one so when i film it doesn't pick up colors that well or like thicknesses that well if that makes sense that probably doesn't but my eyelashes don't show up that much in it if i just have my normal eyelashes like without any falsies on so i do typically wear fake eyelashes in videos but that's what's going to say about the eyeliner if i don't wear fake eyelashes i only draw probably to where like my pupil is i don't draw it all the way in because i feel like it makes my eyes look really small <sighs> also don't forget to breathe i hold my breath when i'm doing my eyeliner and sometimes i nearly pass out <laughs> Now next I'm going to take this which also looks busted. I don't know what brand this is, I don't know what it is because the stickers and everything have come off of it. We basically get like a little brush in it and it's like a gel eyeliner which I use in my waterline and this stuff is incredible. I don't know what's in it or anything like that but it doesn't come off like I even struggle to get it off when I'm taking it off with like eye makeup remover. It's also a little bit dried out, I do need to get another one so I take this um rose water and glycerin uh stuff that i use on my skin on a little like cotton pad and just kind of soak the brush in it because then it makes the brush kind of wet and then you can put it in the eyeliner and it makes the eyeliner more wet so you can use it on your eye without it being like super dry what i do is blend it out with like a dark brown eyeshadow or something i think there's a black in this palette um somewhere i'm gonna take the one that we used before called cafe cream blend out the eyeliner so it doesn't look as harsh i'm gonna use the white color which is it's called um the shade panna cotta it's a white eyeshadow and put it on the inner corner again this just makes your eyes look a lot more awake if you're like me and you get basically no sleep every night um <laughs> because you're up doing other things that are unimportant and you just lose sleep over it anyway then use this to make yourself look more awake but try not to put too much because i feel like if you put too much it looks like you have eye boogers <laughs> like you know when you you're tired and you know when you've like been asleep and you wake up and you have like really bad eye boogers that's kind of what it looks like if you use too much so don't use too much <laughs> we're nearly finally on the last step 40 minutes later i honestly don't know why it takes me so long to do my makeup this is the mua eye define lengthening mascara this mascara is terrible like this mascara is crap like <laughs> i don't recommend it at all it's honestly probably one of the worst mascaras i've ever used <laughs> i kind of just want to um use it up so i can throw it out and get a new one like i said it's it's a pretty terrible mascara it doesn't make my eyelashes any longer it doesn't make them thicker it doesn't really do anything to them apart from make them look darker also this is some again just some random eyelash curler i think pretty much all eyelash curlers do the same thing
So I just take this brush again. I don't know where this brush is from. Like I literally don't know where any of my brushes are from because they're all like unbranded, unnamed, cheap ones. And then the Gosh bronzing powder in 02 natural glow i get a lot of compliments on the way i do my bronzer and i think it's because i do it in a way so it doesn't look muddy um the bronzer is a very good color for my skin tone and i just kind of like pat it on i don't rub it because then it rubs the foundation off i also put it on my forehead to make my forehead look smaller because i have a fairly big forehead and i kind of put most of it like here and then i kind of just blend it out down the sides of my temples and anywhere else I want to put it. I guess it's really just up to where you want to put it. This is just where I like to put it because I think I don't really like contour or anything and my goal isn't to make my face smaller because I feel like I'm okay with the, size, with the size of my face but I just like to add a bit of colour and dimension to my face. Typically every day I don't wear lipstick too often. Sometimes I will but and if I do it's just like a pink colour. I feel like especially at winter time I don't. My lips are fairly red naturally and in the winter my lips are like 50 times drier than normal so I just take my own spit <laughs> to wipe the foundation off that I've got on my lips. I just take Carmex. This is honestly if you don't use lip balm you're missing out like I honestly get stressed out if I don't have a lip balm on me at all times because I hate the feeling of not having anything kind of on my lips or if my lips are dry i hate it i have to have something on my lips <laughs> this is a get ready with me as well i do also need to do something with my hair okay i've already straightened it because i feel like that was kind of boring and not many people want to see me straighten my hair because my hair's pretty straightforward to straighten i'm just gonna do like a half up half down thing i've been wearing this hairstyle a lot recently i feel like because it's really easy to do and it keeps most of my hair out my face so i just do this and my fringe kind of falls down naturally. I pull bits out because when I had like an actual fringe, it's grown out a lot <laughs> from when I had my actual fringe. But I wasn't feeling the fringe anymore. I just don't think it suited me that well. And fringes are honestly kind of annoying to maintain because I feel like if you do have a full fringe and oily skin, you constantly have to wash your fringe. Like even if you don't wash the rest of your hair, you just have to wash your fringe because your fringe will get really greasy. And then I'm just gonna take one of these. I honestly don't know what these are called. I feel like everyone has these now. <laughs> I always keep a clear one on my wrist, more as a bracelet than to actually use it, but. And then just tie this so it's like that on like the back of your head. I would like straighten my fringe a bit nicer to make it sit better on my face, but I'm too lazy to do that. There is a hole in my jumper. <laughs> Pretty much all I do for my everyday makeup is really simple. Like I said, my everyday makeup, I don't typically always wear eyeshadow. I sometimes i do sometimes i don't it really just depends on like how i want to do my makeup that day sometimes i wake up and i want to do like full-on eyelashes heavy like black eyeshadow heavy eyeliner um but some days i just want to i don't know do this this is pretty much my go-to which is like a pinkish eye because it makes my blue eyes a lot more blue and just skin which is just skin you know i don't do anything special to it i'm sorry if this video is a disappointment i feel like i watch loads of these videos and they're so professional they have like a nice background they have everything laid out ready to go honestly with like in between all the jump cuts you saw it was me getting up and looking for the things i needed because i they're like scattered all around my room if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye guys